made my living doing sales and traveled all over the state of Kansas and northern Missouri selling financial equipment. The, the wife and I had been there to the Hyatt before. They were the fanciest society dancing in town. It was the place to go. We had a cocktail and I said, hey, let's go up on the second floor catwalk. We could be up on the second floor catwalk and we could look back down and watch them dance. I noticed that that thing was doing something strange. The second floor catwalk was doing something strange, so I walked over and I said, this place is spooky. We should get off of here. And then all at once, we felt a shake. Down it fell. You can't imagine what that was really like. I was underneath there for four and one half hours. I did not lose my mentality. I did not lose my breath. I was lying on my left side. The only thing I could move was my right hand, being up close to my forehead and my brother-in-law's sister head was lying right close to me and the only thing I could touch was her cheek bone eye hairline. I had no idea where my wife was. And I did not know where my wife was until about three days later. You, nobody knew where anybody else was. Life leaving your body. I had that twice. And what it is, it's your, 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 the, the system of what you've been taught about love and life floating off to heaven. That happened twice. I thought I was dying. I have no idea. And then when they finally got to me, a young Catholic priest come walking by right then. And he said, what's your name? And I told him. And then he asked me some questions. How you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. And, but he leaned down then. He said, they laid me on a gurney since they got me out. And he said, how are you feeling? I said, I don't feel like I'm going to live long. He leaned down. He says, I'm going to give you your last rights. You can't imagine what this is like. He put one hand on my heart, another one up on my forehead, and gave me my last rites. I had bones broken in every portion of my body, except my two arms from my shoulders to my fingertips. My wife's sister, where we were to go that night for dinner, ended up going to North Kansas City. My wife went to Baptist Memorial Hospital. I ended up going to research. When your sister-in-law and your brother-in-law and your company, all three of them, get killed. We, did, we didn't get to go to their services. One of the largest catastrophes in the history of the United States. A lot of things happened there that night that should have never have happened, but it's going to go on forever. Things do happen in life. And if what happened is not published or kept to the human mind, then it disappears. Things like that should never totally disappear from the Kansas City area.